Hi guys. I hope you all are doing well. Hi, uh, this is my second live video for the night. Let me just get centered right into the camera. Thank you for joining me. Um, I was just sit thinking of, um, I was watching, um, Elevation Church's Good Friday service and their online stream and it brought back some of the old, old school hymns and, um, for those of you who know me, I love music of all kinds. But I have a special place in my heart for the old school hymns. And for some reason, I just uh, wanted to sing some of the hymns that I kind of grew up with. Some of the hymns, old worship songs uh, for you guys. Uh, and I pray that it blesses you. I don't have the best voice. I'm not a singer, but I just... But the Lord say, go on and sing them. And I'm like, okay. So here I am. Um, the first one I wanted to do for you was the one that started this off. It's called The Old Rugged Cross. I remember um, this hymn when I was a little girl. Um, when I was a little girl, I couldn't really sit still. So what my mom used to do, she knew I loved music, so what she used to do during the sermon is, is give me the hymn book and let me uh, flip through it. And this one was my favorite to go to as a little girl. It was uh, number 33 in the Melodies of Praise. And I went to a very small uh, Pentecostal church called Open Door Pentecostal Church. And I remember one time we were having convocation. We used to call it uh, a program. And I remember one time we sang this song and I was captured, I think by the melody of the song, but as I got older, I was just captured by the message of this song. So this is the first song that I wanted to do for you uh, tonight. It's called The Old Rugged Cross. On a hill, far away, stood an Rock across the emblem of suffering and shame, and I love that old cross, cross with melody. Rest and best for a world of lost sinners will slay. So I'll take the old rugged cross till my troll. Be the last I lay down. I will cling to the old rock and cross and exchange it someday for a crown. T 
to all that old the cross. So despise by the world, hold the wondrous attraction for me. For the dear Lamb of God left his glory above to bear it on dark Calvary. So I'll take the over again. To my throne is at last I lay down. I will cling to the overhead cross and exchange it someday. For a crown and the old rocket cross stained with blood so divine its wondrous beauty I see what was on that old cross, Jesus saw and died to pardon and sanctify me. So Till my toe is at last. 
must I lay down? I will cling to the old rocket cross and exchange it that someday for a cross. So I'll tear Rush the old rocket cross Till my trophies at last I lay down I will cling to the old rocket cross Change it someday or a cloud. So I'll tear the old rugged cross till my truth is at last. I lay down. I will cling to the old rocket cross and exchange it someday for a When I was a little girl, I used to love um, music and worship music. And the first song my mom taught me when I was going in for scoliosis surgery, she taught me Because He Lives. And I used to sing that song uh, all the time. So I'm going to sing it for you now. God sent... His son, they called him Jesus. He came to love. He land for Mm-hmm. 
The child can face uncertain days because Jesus lives. Because he lives. I can face tomorrow We thank you for your life, God. We thank you for your death, God. We thank you that you rose. Um, when I was about nine years old, I went to a church, to um, a visiting church, uh, and they always wanted me to sing a song, and I remember this clearly. Um, um, I remember singing this song and the whole church stood up and the Holy Spirit um, just entered the room and it was this song. The blood that Jesus shed for me when I conquer all the blood that gives me strength from death to death, it will never lose its power oh, and reaches to the highest mountain and it flows 
to the lowest valley. Oh, it's the blood that gives me strength from day to day. It will never lose its power. It seals my guilt and calls my fears. It dries up all my tears. All the blood that gave me strength. From day to day, it will never lose its power. Oh, for it reaches to the highest mountain, wherever you are today. Close to the lowest valley. Oh, it's the blood that gives me strength from day to day. It will never lose its power. Oh, for it reaches to the highest mountain. Oh, and it flows to the lowest valley. Oh, it's the blood that gives me strength. From day to day, it will never lose its power. It will never lose. I said, never lose. No, no, no. And the Lord wants me to say that whatever situation Corona has you in today, whether it be financial or whether it be um, health-wise or whether it be you're just bored, his blood reaches to every situation and turns it around. His blood is reaching to you right now. Whether you're a homeless person, whether you're a person with a disability, whether you're a pastor, whether you're a part of my family, uh, whether wherever you find yourself, it is reaching to you right now. What, whether you're the lowest of the low or the highest of the high, He's reaching to you right now. God is stronger than Corona. God is stronger than Corona. The power of God is known is 
Corona is no match for the power of God. The power of God can reach into every situation and restore it and heal it and and revive it. Oh, I I declare the spirit of revision coming into your life right now. He is revising your body. He is revising your health. He is revising your money right now. I, I declare the spirit of revision, oh God. He is revising your heart right now. He is revising your thoughts right now. He is rearranging things on your behalf right now. He is restoring things on behalf right now. He is, he is regenerating things that were dead. The thing about uh, Jesus' death, it teaches us about the power of regeneration. Because when Jesus died on the cross for us, he didn't, he died, his body died, but his spirit never died. And that same spirit is in you. Because when you accept Christ into your life, you accept his spirit. And his spirit is one of regeneration, restoration, uh, recuperation. He is recuperating things right now. He is regenerating things right now. Things that were dead are going to get up financially. Things that were dead are going to get up. I'm, I'm declaring right now that his spirit is going into every body sick with corona disease. And he is restoring, he is re renewing and regenerating the cells, the tissues, every illness, every sickness he is regenerating. Everybody on this, under the sound of my voice, everybody who will watch this tomorrow and days and weeks and months and years to come, everybody who is watching this video, he is regenerating things in your life right now. He is restoring things in your life right now. He is renewing your strength. He is renewing your mind. He's renewing your heart. Don't be dumb, beloved. Don't be dumb, beloved. This thing is not unto death. This thing is not unto death. And by death, I don't always mean physical death. I mean spiritual death. I mean financial death. I mean social death. I mean all that stuff all that death. This coronavirus thing is not unto death. There is life coming after this. There is life coming after this. Yes, Lord, I hear you. There is life coming after this. This coronavirus thing will not kill you financially, will not kill you emotionally, will not kill you socially. It it will revive you. It is a respite. The devil meant it to kill you, but God is going to use it to revive you. He is using this time of respite to revive the church. He is using, the devil wanted to kill you, but God is using it to revive you. He um something had to revive the world so the stop is not on to death the stop is just for revision renewal and restoration receive his revision renewal and restoration right now that's what he's doing in all our lives he is restoring us he is rebuilding us Sometimes, sometimes for 
uh, rehabilitation, he has to break us down first. He has to use our issues to break us down. He doesn't send calamity, but he does use it for his purposes. All things are working together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Not yours, his. He's using this for renewal, regeneration, restoration. And when we get back on our feet as, as the world, it will be a whole new realm of glory that, that she will walk into. It'll be a whole new stage of life that she will have to embrace with grace and with humility. When I say she, I mean the church because the Lord refers to the church as his bride. He is, he is preparing her. He is restoring her. He is regenerating her. And the, the realm of, of glory that is coming after Corona will be something that the world world will never see. People will have never seen. People will be flocking to the church and not only flocking to it, but staying in it. I pray for new vision, oh God. I pray for um I pray for regeneration. I put I pray for restoration. I pray for revision. God, I pray I pray that you that you restore our vision. I pray that you just re revamp your church, revamp your world, make us into the world and the church that you called us to be, the strong church, the church that never gives up, Lord. Help us, God, to see. Help us, God, to see what we have not yet seen. Help the medical profession, Lord Jesus, to see what they have not seen, Lord Jesus. Bring that year timeline down to six months. Bring that six month timeline for a vaccine down to three months. Oh God, give us your wisdom. Give us, give us your strength, God. Give the medical professionals knowledge, oh God. I declare, Lord God, not only for coronavirus, but for cancers on the whole, for all these diseases like Parkinson's, dementia. Unlock the secrets of the brain, God. There's so much we don't know about the brain, Lord. We need you to unlock these secrets, God, because you created our brain. You know our brain. Unlock the, the secrets of tissues and of no, neurons and how they, for, they connect, oh God. Reveal to us your knowledge on healing diseases. Reveal to us your knowledge on restoring health, oh God. You have the answers. We need them. I pray that, that people in the medical community, researchers and medical doctors will rise up and proclaim that you are God. And when they do, you will just restore your your church and i declare that all these research researchers and stuff who don't know the lord through this crisis and through your revelation of of what to do and what whatever lord jesus i i declare that the smartest people won't get to know you if they don't already i declare all these medical researchers will be saved in the name of Jesus. I declare that through coronavirus, people will be saved. And after this is all over, we will say, it's only you. Download your, your peace. Download your grace. Download your love. Download your wisdom to every heart. In the name of Jesus, amen.
and David. Good night, everybody. I'll see you Sunday. Bye. Praise the Lord, I'm free, no longer bound, no more chains holding me, my soul is resting, it's such a blessing, praise God, hallelujah, I'm free, I'm free, praise the Lord, I'm free. No longer bound, no more chains holding me. My soul is resting, it's such a blessing. Praise God, hallelujah, I'm free. See you later. Bye.